Hello everybody, welcome back to Pizza Chef Live with your boy Angie OJ and I'm back at it. Right? So this is Travel With Me and of course I always have my special guest. And every time you see us or you see me on this series, y'all know what is happening. Somebody's leaving, right? The previous interview was me. I mean, it, it's still me, and then now it's both of us. We are both leaving. Understand? So don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell and just do the right thing, right? Keep it back. When a hater's gonna hate, gotta thank them cause they help to compensate. I'm a winner, tell it to your face. Record holder coming in in first place. I'm a winner, not a babysitter. I will not lose, let's just cut to the chase. I'm a winner, tell it to your face. Record holder coming in at first place. Yeah. Come on, guys, thank you so much for staying with us. Today we have the one and only Chef Nico. What's up, hey. guys? Good? Good, how are you? I'm um, good. First, I'm just going to ask you a few questions. Um, it's just based on what you're doing, what, like, just, just answer as, as authentic as possible. You understand? So, first and foremost, Tell us who you are and where you're from. Okay, I'm uh, Nicolas Castro from uh, Chile. I'm um, uh, good. Good land here in Mojo Mountain House. I've been here like uh, almost a year. It's like 10 months, I guess. Working in a government area and felt like. Yeah, yeah. pretty much the same thing that uh, most of us are. The ones that you see on here, pretty much, because we are we're mostly the hot thing. A little bit of the government area thingy. But, like, we are all of us, we do almost everything. They send us everywhere to work, bro. Like, yeah. like, you're outside, inside, cafe, everywhere. upstairs, everywhere. But the good thing about it is that it gives us more experience, and that's what we are here for. You understand? And that's some of the biggest things we are taking away of this year. So, my first question to you give me three words that best describe yourself. Three words. Um, Patience. Yeah, patience. Yeah. Um, perseverance. Yeah, perseverance. Um, what else? You're, you're, you're bad. What's funny in it? Yeah, funny. That's it. You're a joke. Oh, okay. You probably wouldn't pick that. <laughs> but I, can't, I, would, I just wanted to yeah, sit that in there. This, this guy is a cool guy. I can tell you that. What? Another one? Another one? Uh, I'm gonna take that one. Alright, alright, fair. Um, what motivated you to, this, uh, to choose this field of study as in culinary? Confident here? As in, what, what motivated you to select to be a chef? Um, how is. I, I like this. I mean, the good for me is like a therapy. Okay. So you can forget everything when you are in the kitchen. You know? So and it's beautiful. You can create. You can place some work. You can learn about everything. You know, you you don't have a, a limit here. Yeah. So that's a, a good stuff. You never stop learning in the kitchen. So passion for so that it is some of the things that we all of us share. Is that the passion for what you do. So you guys will hear um, other people, previous persons talk about choosing something that you love. This is what we love. That's how we are. Right? Um, what motivated you to come to more? Um, to be honest, well, that was near to New York, so I went out to New York City. It was a dream for me. Yeah. And yeah, I saw the pictures, I saw the picture about the kitchen, and it was pretty cool. A big kitchen, I never worked in a, in a big kitchen like this. So it was my first time, but uh, I think that's it. Yeah, nice. Love it, love it. So yeah, you seem to love New York. So yeah, yeah, it's your place. <laughs> that's good, bro. Uh, how has your experience been so far? Yeah, was good. Was good. Everything is. Uh, the work was hard sometimes. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> usually hard. 
but uh, it was a good experience. But uh, I met uh, very good people here. I met a lot of place and I tried a lot of food too. I learned a lot. So yeah, it was a good experience so far. And what are some of the things you have seen and like some of the growth professional that you have seen? As a cook, I've uh, grown up a lot. Yeah. 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 When I came here, I was so scared because uh, I never cooked for 400 people yeah. in my life. So okay. I didn't know that I could do it. You know? yeah. uh, I did know, I know that no, I can do that you can. Yeah, exactly. Cool. Yes. So, yeah, that's the problem. So, you know that when, when you get out there and you get a huge crowd, you're like, ah, I've done that. Yeah, right. Exactly. Right. Right. Um, what are some of your favorite meals to cook here? To cook here, I like a lot of different pasta. What's this? Yeah, for me, it was the most fun station. Yeah. yeah. I think it probably would have been the easiest. For me, it was the easiest. Yeah. Yeah, but it's, it's, it's really diverse, it has a wide variety, yeah, you get to do a lot of different pastas now. Exactly. And you have, like, you make pastas from scratch. Because we do that here, That's it. We, we call them house pastas. So we make all different pastas, we have to, like, be on the counter, on the machine, in the floor, we do all the of stuff. Yeah. Pretty interesting. Yeah. I share the same thing. Um, what other field would you have chosen if you didn't become a cook or a chef? Yeah, I see, yeah, yeah, you're right. Because you have good with a lot of your hands. And you you capture some really good images. Exactly. So yeah. That, I love that too. Yeah. For, I didn't think about yeah. This guy, yeah. if you guys want wedding photos and you want portrait pictures and all kind of pictures, okay. check, check out this guy. Okay, I'm going to leave um, his link, his Instagram link in the comment section so and in the description. So be sure to check that out. Alright, um, tell me something about yourself that nobody else knows. Oh, that's <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs> the world is going to know now. <laughs> uh, why not tell you? One day when I was studying in uh, culinary school, actually, it was my first or second day, I guess. And uh, we had to sanitize our veggies, you know, yeah. wash them. And stuff and so okay I'm gonna wash these veggies and I pick up the bottle and the bottle has some uh, etiquette you know so is it chemical? I mean I thought it was sanitizer <laughs> so I put a little bit in there and okay <laughs> then when we finished the class I saw one guy pick the same bottle that I used to and put it in the floor Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, oh, that's funny. That's funny, but I, I mean, uh, well, 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 I didn't say anything. I mean, you didn't say anything. No, no, because I was not in trouble, so yeah, yeah, I didn't say anything. So I guess, like, if it's just sanitizer and you washed it, you know, <laughs> really it's clean. Yeah. Okay, no, it's, it's, it's free from germs. <laughs> okay, so the titles, no, judge, no judgment. Thank you very much. So, I was just waiting, maybe someone's sick. Okay, I'm not talking about that. But that didn't happen, no? Didn't happen. Ah, that guy is smart. Um, Bates, what is your biggest takeaway from this program? Biggest, biggest takeaway. Like, what is the biggest yes. like, achievement you have won after your J1? I think uh, the biggest achievement <laughs> Yeah. I mean, that time. <laughs> survive to the this whole program. I know, right? That's the biggest achievement. No, that's true, bro. Yeah, 
that was hard, so hard sometimes. And you must be alone here, so so far from home. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think I've made a friend to stream with us. It's so good. So finish this, and yeah. we did a lot of things in there. Yeah. We grown up, and yes. It's like, I think it was like yesterday, it probably hit me the hardest. I was like, no, I'm done. Like, I, I literally did make it. Like, there are people that came here, and they came here, they saw us here, and they left us. Like, they get kicked, well, well, and the ones that they got kicked out, but you know, things happen, and like, people will have to return to home based on some, like, on unspeakable circumstances and leave them. Right? Yeah. But the thing is, uh, we're still here. We made it to the last day. That was the last night. Tonight is literally yeah, the last night. Yeah. And that's that. That's awesome bro. Yeah. Congrats. Thank you, congrats. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, bro. Um, nine. What would so alright, so you're going back to chill eventually. So um or in, in general, what would you say to a person struggling and trying to find a career, trying to find something, you know, it's their thing, what would you say, what's the best advice to them? Just keep trying, you know, you just uh, keep your head up and try to create something, try to not stop learn about this, try to go outside the world. Yeah. A big world where you have a lot of countries, you have a lot of food that you don't know how to make it, how they taste. Yeah. Um, so if you would like a good, you have a big world to learn. So step out, step out of your comfort zone a little bit. Exactly. Just yeah. learn some new stuff. Yes. Who knows? You might just find what it is that you like to watch. Explore it. And you can learn just watching plates or just yeah. tasting, cooking. Yeah. 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 And the thing is, um, I don't know for Chile, but for Jamaica, you can never go around with food. So even if you want to be a police or to be a soldier, or be, some of those things you may or may not love. Because when you talk about like, being a police, being a cop, being a soldier, it's about violence. Not everybody likes violence. Some of them do it for the money or whatever. But when you find um, you are able to go into a hotel or you are running a restaurant and you do it because you love it, it's not just for money. You understand? You're there. I always talk about the expressions of people's face after I do a presentation, I do a meal or something, and it gets face just light. That alone to me is an achievement. You understand? So it's yeah. never about the money. So we do in Jamaica, we would say, go into the love. In the beat for the likes. Right? right? So that's that. Um, and last but not least, what are your plans? Well, I won't say after comp because you're completely you know. So what are what's it, what's your next step after this? Well I think it's a hard question today. I don't know yet. I mean I'm gonna try something different. Yeah. I'm not gonna do it again from under two you don't know that? No. You don't know that? That was enough for me, uh, so I'm going to try something small. Yeah? Something different that um, I don't want to be a public group. I want to try about pastry. I want to try about uh, coffee and yeah. bar stuff. Okay. So we'll see. Which, which, as long as you stay within the field, yeah. then I'm, I'm good with that. Yeah. Exactly. Do something hotel related, hospital related. I'm good with that. I still do photography. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna try to photography too with yeah. Uh, yeah. inside the kitchen too. Yeah. But no, I don't know yet. Yeah. Uh, plans, yes. I'm so, 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 so I, I personally, I would be looking. You know, I'm watching. I would be watching. I don't know if I'm going to ever see you again, but yeah. I'm going to watch you. If it's so very social media people, because this is my guy. Yeah, some of y'all may not know, but like there are a few persons that I've bond with here, and this guy is one of them. Understand? So, girl, listen, I really appreciate working with you for the past couple of months. You have been here. It's an honor. 
telling you this. You understand? So like I always say, go on the next journey. I just wish you all the best. Yeah. You understand? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm watching you. I'm really watching you. And I'm still watching you. To wherever I go. Because I plan to go a few places. I know this guy is going to be shocked. Because I know he's 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 going to be shocked. Thank you so much for this, doing this interview and thank you so much for you know just, just being a good guy for the past few months. Right? So yeah. Um, we're signing out, you understand? Um, there are a few more interviews to come, but I, I I'm not sure um, what's the next location. You understand? But uh, just stay tuned, keep it locked. Remember to um, follow this guy right here and check out his stuff, some really good stuff, you understand? Uh, and follow, keep following um, for the, the rest of the information because I promise you, uh, each of them that you see, they are giving you of their own self, they, they are giving information based on who they are and what you do. Your job now is to take information and put it to good use. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Until then, Welcome. Yep.